Just saying to, to Simon and to Saul, obviously we told you London Film Festival and you get ready to present it to British audiences for the first time. Yeah. You've been around the globe, into Macau as well, I've just heard. We have well, been to Macau. All over the place. I mean, you must be yeah. delighted after all this hard work that the reactions have been very, very good and that people have been very responsive to it. Yeah, it, it, you know, as a, as a producer, you spend your life before you make the film saying to everyone, this is going to be an amazing film. <laughs> and then sometimes you have to go back and go, all right, OK, it wasn't as good as I said it was going to be. You know, Journey's End, this is an amazing film. This is as good, if not way better, than I, I imagined it. And so it's incredibly exciting as a producer when you've gone through that process and you then walk into a public screening for the first time and the response is electric. And there are people there who are telling you it's better than a lot of big-name films. Um, that it's going to stay with them for days and actually then send you an email later going, it stayed with me for days. It, it, yeah, it's, it's all that you can dream of. It's a real, I was saying to the other guys as well, the, the real visceral quality to this, not just in terms of the war aspect, but the, the aspect of the men trying to come to terms with their own demons, if you like. I mean, when you saw it for the first time, your reaction must have just been, this is incredible. It's come, it's come to the screen like this. Yeah, I mean, I, I was an emotional mess actually, <laughs> when, I came, when I saw it for the first time. I mean, I, I, I found, I, I've, I have lived and breathed this film for the last four years. And you know, the moment that it was suggested to me by... Uh, Anthony Selden, one of our EPs, that I might like to think about trying to get the rights. It was it, it, it was a it was a life changing light bulb moment. So to see those reactions, to watch m m my film, our film, on the big screen was incredible, and to see the nuances and the the performances that those six actors and everybody else behind them have created and actually to, to, to create a film that you can feel that you can shout about from the rooftops this is a film that I feel so proud about it's not it's not a you know a schlock horror movie it's not a glorification of war it's not something that you might be a little bit embarrassed about in certain points I, I want to tell everyone this is an incredible film that could change your life it'll certainly change the way that you feel about World War One and about realizing that, 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 that soldiers are, are, are human beings. I think that's the, the, you know, the take out that I really want people to have. Absolutely. I remember you said as well that obviously this year is the 100 year anniversary and everything else, perfect time for it to come out. And you've managed to, you've said about the cast, and then you said before that you utilize the young and the old to kind of draw in modern audiences, but also draw in as many audiences as you can to kind of tell the story. Sure. Uh, you, but you must be so happy that that's something that's happening so far. Yeah, it, 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 it is. I, I mean, I think there's no doubt that it's, a, it's more of a challenge to get younger people in to see the film. I think that uh, o o older people have a genuine interest in World War I, sort of understand it a bit more. I still think the challenge is to get younger people in. I sincerely believe that younger people, if they come to see the film, will see a film the like of which they have not seen before in terms of a war mo movie, particularly interested in younger women coming to see it, they will understand the emotional beats and will see that, that love between men and that, that camaraderie that you often don't get to see in a, in a, in a war film because you get lost in all of the, the blood and the gore. And of course, as you know, this is not a blood and gore film. This is a film that deals with the emotions of what it's actually like to be waiting for an attack. And it's got some, as we've said before, you know, it's got some great young British actors in there going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the more established ones. And that alone has got to be worth going to see. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!